evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York Arena in Midtown. By way, way of Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Bad, Bad Intentions! intentions. And, and his, his opponent, opponent across, across the, the ring. ring. By, By way, way of Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Bad, Bad Intentions! intentions. Alright gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. And they are underway, round number one of this much-anticipated scheduled eight-round bout. Fine-looking right hand by Bad Intentions. With this style we're seeing here tonight, Teddy, of, of him being a counterpuncher, how important is it to have patience, to just, you know, wait for that chance, wait for that opportunity? Well, you have to have that temperament of your counterpuncher because if you're not patient, you're going to get anxious, you're going to come forward. Guess what? You're not a counterpuncher anymore. Now you're an aggressive fighter. You have to be able to lay back, kind of like being a good hitter in baseball. You know, you stay in that box and you wait for that ball to move. You wait for it to show you where it starts to break. Then you get your wrists around. Then you swing. Well, you have to wait for the guy to come. Then you make a miss. Then you hit him. Halfway through round number one. He has found his groove with his right hand. You got this one. Wow, is he defensively sound? One gives one. The right hand scores well. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Last 10 seconds. Blocks that punch. Three minutes gone by in this round. Look at that swollen eye. Bad intentions, his eye is basically shut. Well, right now he's got to concentrate harder than he has before, maybe than he ever has before, and he's got to make sure that he sees everything coming at him somehow, finds a way, even looking through that little slit. Nice block by Bad Intentions. There's another right hand. Don't walk into his punches. Scores up top with a left. Very accurate two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Halfway through round number two. That's a clean shot, able to get in. Big shot. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. One, two, three, four, 
five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by bad intentions. Bad intentions is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. That is a strong uppercut there. Bad Intentions is in a real tough spot now with that cut. Stay on the inside. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Bad Intentions is feeling the effects now of that hook. And that's the end of round two. He just cannot get out of the way of these headshots. And they're coming from long range. He's setting it up with the jab. Well, somebody's got to remind them that, you know, those gloves that you got on, they're not just to keep your hands warm. You can actually block punches with the glove, not with your face. Bad intentions is right hand scores well that time. Teddy, you've made the point a few times that, hey, it's nice to have something where you got the superior advantage. In this case, he's got the speed. But you can't fall in love with it too much. No, because what happens then, you're like a teenager that gets one of those sport cars. You know, he gets carried away. He doesn't respect the speed yet. And he starts to run red lights. He starts to do things that he shouldn't do. And that's what's happening here. He's starting to jump in with those quick hands. He figures he doesn't have to respect the dimensions other guys have to. And when he's jumping in, he might get caught. There might be a cop there or a punch there to nail him. Oh, and there you go. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Oh. One, two, three, four, five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peak right now. Solid. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It's over. This fight is over. Bad Intentions is unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. Ladies and gentlemen, by, by knockout, knockout, your winner, the Yes.